When I first started weight training, it was all about strength, getting as strong as possible, squatting, benching, and deadlifting the most weight I possibly could for one rep. For some people, it's about getting as big as possible. But recently what I've realized is that it should be about building the right body parts in the right proportions to achieve an aesthetic physique. The issue with focusing purely on strength is that your physique will not look that good. And if you focus purely on size and getting as big as possible, the chances are your proportions will be off. And not only will your physique not look very aesthetic, but also you will lose a lot of athleticism. Most of the exercise programs that you will see online, as well as the ones that a personal trainer will give you, will have many different exercises, which means that you'll probably be in the gym for hours and hours. And if there's one thing that I've learned from my eight year fitness journey, it's that fitness should enhance your life and not be your life. Hi. For those of you who are new here, welcome. My name is Matty and I'm a male model, physiotherapist and personal trainer and I've been training consistently for nearly a decade. In this video, I will be sharing with you the essential exercises that you can be doing. This video will be split into two parts. The first part will be covering the upper body and the second part will be covering the lower body. Now, without further ado, let's get on with the video. The first exercise is the incline bench press. It's a fantastic upper body compound exercise. You will get the most bang for your buck because it will target the chest, specifically the upper chest the anterior deltoid and the triceps. It has fantastic carryover to the flat bench press as well as the military press. And you can either do dumbbell or barbell variations depending on personal preference. Now you wanna do three to five working sets of this exercise. If you've just started working out, then you probably wanna lean closer to three working sets. And as you get more advanced, then you can add more sets to get more volume in. If you're using a barbell, then you wanna work in that six to 10 rep range. And if you're using dumbbells, then the emphasis is slightly more on hypertrophy. So you want to be doing eight to 12 reps. The key here is intensity and progressive overload. Essentially, try to beat what you did last time, last session. As coach Greg says, harder than last time. Exercise number two is the pull up or chin up. This is the king of all pulling movements in my opinion. This compound exercise will build your back. It will grow your lats, which will give you the illusion of a narrow waist. Now, if you're doing chin ups, specifically weighted chin ups, this will help target those biceps and grow them as well. You want to be aiming for three to five sets of six to 12 reps. Now pull-ups are hard and a lot of people can't actually do their own body weight for even one rep. So your progression might look like this. You'll either be doing an assisted pull-up with a band or if you go to a gym, you can get those assisted pull-up machines or you'll be doing negatives. You'll then progress to body weight pull-ups and eventually when those body weight pull-ups or chin-ups become too easy, you'll progress to weighted pull-ups or chin-ups. Exercise number three is lateral raises. These are one of my favorite accessory movements to train. If performed correctly, will grow your lateral deltoid, which will add width to your shoulders and your frame, and in combination with the wide lats, will give the illusion of a tapered, narrow waist. So you want to lean slightly when performing this movement. If you're doing a dumbbell variation, then you'd lean forward slightly, and if you're doing a cable variation, then you'd lean slightly to the side. Your hands will be parallel to the ground, and your arms should not be straight out to the side, but rather in the scapular plane. So in between being in front and to the side, you want to kind of almost go a little bit diagonally. That will target the lateral deltoid the best. What current research has found is that an Egyptian lateral raise is better than a cable lateral raise, which is better than a dumbbell lateral raise. You want to aim for three to four sets of 10 to 15 repetitions. When you go heavy enough with the lateral raises, other muscles will take over. So you'll probably get some compensation from the trapezius muscle. You can achieve progressive overload in other ways, increasing time under tension, so slowing down the movement, decreasing rest periods, and adding sets and reps. Exercise number four is reverse flies. These will target the rear deltoids. These are often neglected, and there is nothing more comical than someone with a very well-developed anterior and lateral deltoid, but a virtually non-existent rear deltoid. <laughs> so train them, boys. Additionally, they are crucial for overall shoulder health. You may use cables, like a cable crossover, or you can use dumbbells, bent over, or leaning on a bench. Again, three to four sets of 10 to 15 repetitions. Now, the fifth exercise is a bicep slash tricep superset. It goes without saying that your arms should round off your physique. Curls for the girls. But we've already targeted the triceps with the incline bench press. So we need to perform an isolation movement to really sculpt the arms. 10 to 15 repetitions with about a minute to a minute and a half rest period in between. So you do your tricep and bicep exercise, rest a minute and a half, and then repeat two more times to get you three sets in. Now having prominent and visible abdominal muscles contributes to an overall aesthetic physique. But it goes without saying that if you want to see definition in these abdominal muscles, 
then you have to be pretty lean. Now I've made a video specifically on how to diet down and get lean so that your abs pop out. So I'll leave a link in the description below. You do have to train abs as well. More specifically, the lower abs are neglected in most ab training programs. So we've got to train those. And I've also made a video on what exercises you can be doing to strengthen and build up your abdominal muscles. So I'll leave a link in the description below for that as well. I hope you found this video useful and I'll catch you in the next one. I'm on my own, broken alone. I feel the rain crashing down. All around this empty town, I'm searching for the lost and found.